Hi everybody, it's time for another J9's Patio Chat Check-In, my first of 2021, so Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. Here we are, I know a lot of us have been really looking forward to it, so hopefully it'll be a wonderful year for everyone. Certainly a lot of hope um, coming out of the end of 2020 with the uh, vaccines for COVID-19, so uh, we'll see what happens. Um, doing this Patio Chat, uh, I have the lights on on the patio. I think this will be okay. I, I can see myself. We'll see how it comes out. I'm actually going to start um, posting my patio chats on my YouTube channel, which I've never used, but I decided um, I've not been great at storing things and I haven't deleted my patio chats, so I need to get that all dealt with. So I thought, what a great time, you know, the new year, to start um, posting them on YouTube. So I will share them, of course, on Facebook. Um, I actually do my patio chats and share them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but for various reasons, it doesn't work out as seamlessly as just sharing it in one place. Like, I actually have to share it three times. Anyway, there's lots of reasons why, but I am going to do that. So hopefully everything will go well with that today. We shall see. Today will be the inaugural day of trying to do the YouTube chat. I am just back from a 6K, well actually 6.26K. Um, I had actually planned on doing a 5K and then I decided I wanted to run Kenwood Drive. So for folks that uh, in Sydney <laughs> and in the Sydney and surrounding areas know Kenwood and it's a crazy hill. So I didn't end up running to the whole, I had forgotten how long Kenwood is. So I've been trying to do 5Ks, I'm getting back into it. Um, <clears throat> I'm certainly not in great shape still, so you know, I'm just, I'm getting there. I can feel the extra weight when I'm running, so it's still taking me, you know, a bit of time, but I'm gonna get there, I'm very determined. Today is my eighth day of doing exercise straight. I've been doing walking and running, but um, I'm gonna try to do a bit more running, um, more on the running side, and then mix it up with other activities as well. Um, the challenge will be when I go back to work on Monday because I find that's when I really, I struggle. Even though I'm working from home, I struggle getting my workouts in. So I'm really gonna need some help and um, some pushing. So I hope you guys will help me out. Anyway, <clears throat> I have this beautiful hat that my friend Heather, her mom Diane made me, Luke's grandmother, and that's my godson. And I love it, it's so cute. And I had lost it for ages, I couldn't find it. So I was so happy to find it. And this of course is a scarf that my friend Rhonda made. If you are in the Sydney area and you would like one, she has amazing colors. I have one in turquoise, I have one in white, I have one in purple. And I think I might get a few before I go back. They're great to throw on with a pea coat or um, I often wear them like with a light sweater. I just really love them. So um, I got a couple from my friend the other day and she was thinking about getting one too. So there's another promo for you Rhonda, um, my friend Rhonda McKenzie. So there we go. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, right. I was talking about what I was wearing. So, of course, it's New Year's Day and we have a few New Year's Day babies. <clears throat> now, actually, just before I came out, not that long before I came out to do this chat, I got a note from Mark Chapman. It's his birthday today. But he reminded me that uh, he is a twin. Well, he didn't remind me he was a twin. I knew he was a twin. <laughs> he reminded me that his brother Mike was born 13 minutes earlier. He had suggested a 13 minute tribute to Mike. I don't think anybody needs to see that or hear that. So I will though say happy birthday, Mike. I'll, you'll be the first birthday shout out of 2021, followed closely by Mark Chapman. And Mark was my high school boyfriend in, a little bit into university. Um, haven't seen him in some time. I used to go regularly with him and his wife and his daughter to dim sum quite a bit. So they were my dim sum buddies um, when they were in Halifax, but they're in Ontario now. So I hope Mark and Mike, you're having a wonderful birthday. I know Mark that uh, your beautiful wife made you some lasagna for your birthday. So I hope you enjoyed that. I did forget a birthday yesterday. It was Jillian's birthday. That's my friend Paul's daughter. And um, so I'm sorry I missed Julian's birthday. I hope she had a great birthday. And last week I missed Rachel's birthday. It was my friend Colleen's daughter, Rachel. I kept meaning to, I missed it and then I kept meaning to mention it. So I'm sure Colleen, I know you don't watch every day, but maybe you'll see this one. I, I, I hope that Rachel had a great birthday. We have two more birthdays for today. It is Marley's birthday and she is nine years old. And that is Lita's daughter. And Lita is my godparents, uh, Kathy and Basil's their daughter and she lives here in Nova Scotia so I hope Marley's having a wonderful birthday and it's also Aiden's birthday and he's 14 
huge, really tall, just like my godson. I don't know if he's that tall, but he's pretty tall. Um, and that's Marsha's son, Marsha and Mark's son. So I hope that Aiden is having a wonderful birthday. So here we are, it's New Year's Day. Um, oh, I think I was, in, I'm all over the place today. I think I was in the middle of my running story. Yeah, I ran up Kenwood Drive. So yes, I didn't do, I didn't go right to the bottom of Kenwood. I don't think I finished the story. <laughs> um, anyway, I didn't go to the bottom of Kenwood because I've been getting back into running and I didn't want to run more than 5K. Originally, that was my idea. Because the other day I ran, I was going to run 6K and the final K, I just found my knee was bothering me. So I walked the final K. No big deal. Um, but today, anyway, I had forgotten how long Kenwood Drive was and I was running down. It was 2K and then it was 3K and I thought, oh God, like now I'm going to be, because I'm running back, of course, I'll be running over 6K. Um, so I did run just over 6K, like I said, 6.26, um, but it was great. I, I got along really well. Um, I'm not running very fast, but I don't really care about that. I really just want to stay healthy and stay active and move. So, um, but you know, any part of Kenwood Drive is when you're running up Kenwood Drive, it's a tough hill. So I'm really proud of myself that I got that in the books because last uh, New Year's Eve, and I didn't uh, check in with everybody as I had hoped to, but I was having a great time. My brother and I went over to Dave and Jane's so that just the four of us had a lovely evening. Dave and Jane made homemade pizzas. Um, we had some veggies and dip It was and some snack. Anyway, the snacks were great. We had some sparkling to toast in the new year. It was absolutely lovely. So lovely that we arrived home at 6 a.m. <laughs> so I did not lay my head, uh, well, it was probably after six by the time I got to bed. And I got up about 11. So I didn't have, you know, like a huge sleep. And it was pretty lazy today. So it would have been very easy, believe me. Oh, it was so cozy. Uh, it was cozy up, all cozied up in the living room, reading, just feeling really relaxed. Um, and I did that for a while. But anyway, I got myself up and I got my walk in, and my run in, I should say. So I'm really hoping to keep this up. I, I really want to. I know I've said it many times, but each time you try, you can just, you know, it's been eight days straight. So that's eight full days I've been doing something active every day. And it'll start to make a bit more of a difference um, when you know the holidays are over and you're not, I'm not having JD Shore in my tea all the time and uh, extra snacks. And uh, I'm just looking at my face and I just feel like it's all right there. But anyway, we're our own worst critics. I know that the colors are beautiful. So I'll focus on that. So I'm really happy that I'm here in Cape Breton for New Year's Day. I normally am for the last few years I have been. Um, very different this year, of course, but we didn't spend um, New Year's the way we normally do. We usually go to a house party that's a bit bigger, um, but that's, you know, we didn't do that this year. And I think a lot of people chose to just hang out with their families, which I think is wonderful. And I really think people have been following, you know, following the guidelines and the rules. Oh, and I did see yesterday that in Halifax, starting January 4th, the restaurants will reopen. Um, they'll have the same restrictions they have here with closing at 10. Um, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy for the restaurants. So um, when I go back, I'll certainly go to a few of the ones that I like to go to. I definitely want to help um, keep them in business and support them. I know they've um, really done a lot to pivot and do takeout. Uh, some, you know, would have already been doing that, but a lot of them had to create that from scratch. That wasn't something they were doing before. So there it is. I hope everyone's having a wonderful New Year's Day, whatever your traditions are. Maybe you like to just cuddle up on the couch with a good book. Um, I'm actually going to go back in and read a little bit. I think I'll have a shower first to warm myself up and then that'll be it. So, I'll post this and it will be my first patio chat of 2021. Another uh, milestone for me. So thanks everybody for tuning in for all these, uh, for all these years, for all these years, <laughs> for all these days, 293 today. Yes, 293. So seven more and we'll be at 300 and then it'll be the big countdown to the year, 365. It's gonna be crazy. So thanks everybody again. Take good care of yourselves. Take good care of others. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.